Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a collaboration with my blogging friend Jasmine. We are doing our five favorites for fall. So I had a hard time narrowing it down. Now I wanna start by saying um, I'm not one of those people who's like obsessed with fall. I'm more of a spring, summer kind of person. But there's a lot of things I do appreciate about fall because I just think if you, if you spend all your time kind of wishing it was the next season, um, then you're gonna spend a lot of time wishing time away. And there's so much to enjoy about every season. So, some things I enjoy about fall, I like that it's nice enough you can still go for a walk outside without getting all sweaty and warm. I like that my hair doesn't get frizzy, it stays nice all day. Um, I don't like when it rains, but that's more of a in general. And I love that when I wanna have a cup of tea, I don't feel warm. I can have a nice hot cup of tea without feeling like I'm too hot. Uh, which is definitely how I feel in the summer. So those are some of the things I enjoy about fall, but now I just want to get into some of my favorite items for fall. So when I think of fall, the first thing that comes to mind is I took this photo on my personal Instagram a year or two ago where I was wearing this lipstick. This is D for Danger by MAC and it's a matte lipstick. Um, and I just remember when I posted the photo and I was wearing this like fuzzy warm gray scarf and a little leather jacket and I just thought I look really cute and <laughs> maybe that's kind of a silly thing but whenever I think of fall um, I think of just that outfit like the cozy little kind of leathery bomber jacket the nice warm scarf and this lipstick so for me this lipstick is probably my favorite thing about fall because it just it transitions into the holidays so well it stays all day it doesn't feel uncomfortable on me and in my humble opinion, I think it looks great. So I, just, I love this, it's like a rich matte berry red. So frustrating as I was filming um, my car out of space because I forgot that I put a whole bunch more than I thought I did on the card today when I was filming some stuff for an upcoming video. So one of my new favorites for fall is a new to me product. It's from Essie's Fall 2016 collection. It's the Tokyo collection. And it's called Now and Zen, and it is this beautiful, beautiful, warm, cozy gray that I just think looks so good for fall and even for winter. And I think it pairs really well with this lipstick. Now, another one of my favorite fall products, um, let's move into fragrance, is La Petite Robe Noir by Guerlain. Um, my boyfriend actually bought this for me for a Valentine's Day like a year or two ago, and let's just... And it's just, it smells so rich and warm, a little bit spicy, almost like a licorice scent to it as well. And it just, it wears so well on the skin. It warms up nicely. I find it lasts longer in the cooler weather. And it's just such a sexy smelling perfume that it is one of my favorites um, for fall. So definitely, I don't really reach for this in the summer because I find it's too warm. But in the fall, um, I really start to reach for this more. And so I'm excited to be kind of rotating this more into my collection. So love this one. Now, another one of my favorites for fall is tea. Now, I don't buy the like the properly colored tins at David's Tea. I just buy whatever tin I think is pretty. Um, so this is, I guess, the white tea one, but it's a beautiful mint color. And right now in here, I have one of my two favorite teas from David's Tea, and that is the Butterfly Jasmine Green Tea. The other um, one of my favorites is the Organic Dragon something. I always forget the full name, like Organic Dragon Well, maybe? Organic Japanese Dragon? Fuck, my phone's on my bed, I don't know how to Google it. Anyways, it's like Organic Dragon something, I'll put the name down below. But those are my two favorite, my phone is going off, it's probably my boyfriend. Anyways, those are two of my favorite um, teas. I actually only drink green tea. I, I drink other things like water and a lot of Diet Coke. But in terms of tea, I really only drink green teas and those are the two I reach for the most. And I just love, again, having those warm teas when it's so chilly outside. Now, my final of our official five is again, a brand new to me product. Um, for those of you who are subscribers, uh, you'll already seen this product. For those who aren't subscribers, you should become subscribers. So that way I can make mention of things like that. And it is my brand new scarf that I got from FabFitFun my very first FabFitFun box, and it's my very first blanket scarf. I always thought these things were overrated, and then I got one. 
and not only does it look super cute when I'm out in the fall, um, it goes just so soft. Not only does it look really cute when I'm walking around in the fall with my like really cute little neutral Kate Spade purse, I did not cut my hair, um, but the other thing I love about it is my office is an ice box. It is freezing. So instead, normally I fold up in a triangle and I showed you how I wear it. I just unfold it and I literally wear it like a blanket. So I'll be like sitting in front of my computer like this, just like typing away. And again, my office is an ice box. So having a blanket is fantastic. So those are my official top five favorites for fall. I want to just throw in two more because why not? One of them is this sweater I'm wearing. Um, it's just a big, cozy cardigan. I picked it up when I was at Generation Beauty New York at Loft in Times Square. It's from their like their yoga line, Louis and Gray or something. I've been wearing it like a coat, so I need to buy myself a fall coat. That is on my to-do list for tomorrow, AKA, I guess today by the time you're watching it. We'll see. Anyways, um, and the other thing, <laughs> that's one of my favorites, I just took it off my foot. It's um, these little, aerosol uh, slippers, aerosols, that I caught at Winners. Um, my aunt bought my mom some slippers for like her birthday and they were the wrong size so I had to go in and exchange them and then I might have bought myself a pair. But they're just so cozy and I just feel so cozy when I come home and put them on. So I know it's supposed to be five, I guess it was seven. Why don't we make it eight? Charlotte Tilbury. Um, I love Charlotte Tilbury just in general, but I really love her in fall because like her packaging is this gorgeous 1920 art deco um, kind of burgundy and rose gold and it just again just feels so fall. So those are my top five with maybe three additions um, for fall and again this video is in collaboration with my friend Jasmine. Um, I haven't actually met Jasmine in person but I feel like that's so common in this beauty blogging YouTubing world. Jasmine and I are both a part of Ipsy OS, um, which is the like Ipsy's group for bloggers and vloggers, so you should join if you are into that. They're just like really welcoming. Um, and they're actually the ones who send me, who pay for my Jed Beauty tickets. Um, and then the other group we're in is the Canadian Beauty Bloggers Network. And again, if you are a beauty blogger in Canada who's been blogging for I think it's six months and posts regularly, definitely join. There's no minimum follow numbers, there's no minimum like page used to join. It's just a really supportive community and you've got girls, you've got this one girl who has, she's going to have 100,000 YouTube subscribers before you know it, she's at like 85,000, all the way to girls who just started their blog six months ago and are just there for fun and it's just such a great community. So Jasmine and I are also in that community. And the reason this collaboration came about, I tweeted, um, you may have seen, so definitely follow me on social media, by the way, because I'm way more active on there. Again, all the links are below. But anyways, I tweeted out, like, you know, what should I do for fall? And then she was like, hey, do you want to do a collab? And I love doing collabs with people because um, for me, it's just all about building community and getting to know others. So I'm really excited to see what five she picked. She told me hers are mostly fashion, but I'm definitely going to have her link down below. So again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I've got some really exciting stuff coming up. Um, for those of you who are coming over from Jasmine's channel, um, I have right now about 430 YouTube subscribers. And the moment I hit 500, I'm going to be launching my probably my biggest giveaway yet. And it's going to be amazing. Um, also, on Sunday, Monday, this, whatever the 16th is, I'm celebrating my third blog anniversary. So I'm also going to be having a really cool giveaway for that that you're not going to want to miss. So check out all my links down below. Um, the best way to stay up to date is follow me on Twitter because I'm always on Twitter. And yeah, so thank you so much for watching. And for people who are watching me first, go check out Jasmine, she is lovely. And yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Subscribe for all those exciting updates I was talking about and have a great day, bye.